Everybody from LeBron James actually to your daughter tweeted that was a foul at the end. Really? Think, yeah. Do, do you think this is just sort of, in some ways, the nature of sports? That that just tends to be what people focus on? Maybe. Maybe. Um, I don't think LeBron's ever won a game on a bad call by the other team, by the other officials, do you think? <laughs> I probably doubt I, it. I probably doubt that in his career he's ever won a game and decided to give it back because he looked at it and went, that was a foul. <laughs> So, it is what it is. <laughs> Good point, Gino. Good point. And I know what Gino Oriema is trying to say here. That no team, no player, gives back victories over questionable calls. But what happened last night? Now, that was an injustice. Come on, Gino. You know it. It was a heist. A heist. One of the greatest highway robberies that has happened in the history of sports. Because everybody knows DeJanae Carrington was fouled on her game-winning shot attempt. Everybody knows that. Even Swin Cash knows it. She knows it was a foul. Swin Cash, a UConn legend. Even she's saying this no call was outrageous. I mean, look at this, y'all. Look at this. How do you not call a foul here in a regional final with a final four spot on the line? You let someone get knocked to the ground on a final shot and just swallow the whistle? What were the officials thinking? That's Russell with another board. And here's Gafford off the feed by Westbrook. By the way, Russell Westbrook now with 20 assists. Westbrook against Turner again. Step back for three. Russell Westbrook does it again. Yeah! Russell Westbrook went off last night. We all know that. A triple-double, 35 points, 14 boards, 21 assists, 14 to 26 shoot from the floor, 4-6 from three-point range, and he did it all without Bradley Beal in uniform. And here's the most amazing part about Westbrook's game last night. I don't give a damn about any of it because the Wizards just are not very good. They're not going anywhere. You're 17 and 28 in the Eastern Conference for crying out loud. They're not going anywhere. And this is far from the first time Russell Westbrook has played on a team that has fallen short. He's had talent alongside him his entire career. Don't forget, y'all, Kevin Durant, James Harden, Paul George, James Harden again, Victor Oladipo, Bradley Beal. Yeah, where's the chip to show for it? Where's that? That has to hurt a lot, a whole lot. And I know it has to hurt Russell Westbrook, especially because he's a fierce competitor, an all-time competitor, an all-time great competitor, one of the best ever. But I just wish he had used those competitive fires that will to win to develop his long-range game at least a little bit. Because as much as I love Russell Westbrook, as much as I respect the fire with which he plays, the defense, the leadership, everything, I simply do not understand how he could spend the first 12 years of his career in the Western Conference going against the likes of Steph Curry and Damian Lillard every night and never, ever, develop his three-point shot. Never realized that his, that his inability to score from long range is what has always held him back. Just close your eyes for a second, ladies and gentlemen, and use your imagination if you know basketball. If Russell Westbrook was a better three-point shooter, could you imagine what he would have done? I'm here to tell you, he would have won a championship by now. Hell, Kevin Durant might never have left the Oklahoma City Thunder. Maybe James Harden would have demanded a trade back to OKC. I don't know. Maybe the Thunder would be the Brooklyn Nets. And maybe Russell Westbrook's big nights would actually matter and be more relevant. I'm just saying, I love the brother. Respect the hell out of him. But you got to get a three-point shot. If you're going to make that difference, 13 games under 500 playing with Bradley Beal in the same backcourt. Scott Brooks, I ain't forget about you either. Your defense is ranked dead last. I'm just saying. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.